you cannot stream or change games while you're streaming straight from the PlayStation. Lovely. Um, so, welcome back if you join again. Subtitles, yes, sync up to audio, yes, vibration, no inverse do I know, look sensitivity, I have no idea, gamma, don't get no, volume, yes, language, what my options, from, so, option. I'm not that advanced, here we go, I'm not that advanced reading yet, definitely not that advanced reading. is not that great, so. Alright. Subtitles, yes. Sync to audio, yes. Please, I need it so I can actually understand what's being said. Press OK. working on, well, kind of working on getting a laptop, my laptop fixed so I can stream using Streamlabs, but beyond with my lessons and starting a new job and taking care of people and spring cleaning and streaming, it's just a lot, um, which is what took, which is why it took me so long to fix my tech issues. I think it took me a day or two, maybe, I think two days? I don't know. Well, it looks like it's fixed. That's not spooky at all. I not expecting this. Wearing headphones with this might not be a good idea. I have a streaming straight to my head, but I have the sound going straight to my headphones saying being on the TV. I'm starting to regret that. There's no subtitles for the voices in the static. Houston, come in. 
Enable voice authentication. Oh. Should put a warning on this. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Oh, yeah, I'm the computer again, aren't I? Authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. Okay, I didn't look at anything to first time. Okay, 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 good. Come on, give me something. Sam? Are you there? Respond. The old school letters? Okay. Hold L2 to enter response mode. I am here. up in module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. What in the world? Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9? Safe power is low, holds true, system connect. So pressure safe, power low, hold true. Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good. Good. Are the adjacent contact points from 9 intact? Oh, 
Module 9 hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there? What's going on, Sam? What is that noise? Sam, what is that? Sam, a response! What the hell is going on? Nope, go away. No. No, I don't. I don't want my fine. We also can do almost everything. Probably was something else I could do. But. self-diagnostic procedure and what errors are you showing please repeat your previous request I need you to run diagnostics on yourself to see what you still have access to Relocation functions are offline. I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. Please repeat your previous instruction. I need you to run diagnostics on yourself to see what you still have access to. The main memory core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self.
The connection between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. What? Huh? Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. Okay, now add the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. Open, I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay. Let's get this up and running. Can you close the door, lady? Like, seriously? Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh. If you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? Sam? 
Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Alert to whatever is controlling me. Oh shit. Uh, okay, station alerts, station alerts. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. and view its camera feeds in the EAS arm at least try it now find that fire sam oh fire sam that's what that thing is okay let's see you like me to do? I said get the door open. I am stuck in EAS 6. Oh, 
terrible person to do this. I'm not very good at it. Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. That's it. Come on! That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. And there is maybe something in storage above that's leaking. Oh, come on. What now? Sam, give me a status report. There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. What? This is no. getting much worse. No. What? Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. One, four, four, two, four, one, three, three, two, four. Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. Sam, target the jets in the correct sequence. We don't have much time. Go, I go, don't go. Do it. If you don't fire them in the correct order, the module might tear off.
signals are weak and distorted. I don't understand. We should be right above Houston. Can you detect any damage, Sam? EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. CN arm is badly damaged. Oh God, May. It looks intact though. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. I 
Mary started your core systems. Did she have darker hair? You weren't making any sense. And to be quite honest, I'm fucking terrified right now. Anyway, without you, I'm not going anywhere, so... I'll come back. Okay, first off... Let's try this again. Sam, voice authenticate. Dr. Emma Fisher, 140412. stuck in the EAS arm for now. I think it's related to power, but a lot of the hatches are fully locked down, so I'm, I'm going to try something different here. Sam, I have rigged a connection sphere for you to use. You should be able to take control of this and fly around the station. It'll let you reach parts of the station your cameras can't see, and it'll let you wirelessly connect to non-station devices, like laptops. There. Looking good, Sam. Okay. Let's see if you can move it. Fly over to me. Great. Now turn around 180 degrees to face me and fly back. There are more controls for translation and rotation, but I'll let you figure them out. You should still be able to identify objects and relay information to me like any other camera. Try it now. Connection sphere is offline. Okay, great. That works. Now, you can release yourself from the sphere and return to your main OS just like before. Try it now. Sphere tracking is online, so its location will be displayed on your station map. To reconnect to your sphere, you can either quick connect directly from your map, or you can use a nearby module camera to access it. Reconnect to your sphere now. Right, let's test out your sphere connection systems. Connect to the laptop above the workbench. Once you're connected, attempt to download whatever data is left. actually worked. Right, so the rest of the station is dark and the horizon arm is running on emergency power. The solar panels give us next to nothing this far from the sun. 
However, we do have an experimental fusion reactor on board. The EFR. If that can generate enough power, we can maybe get the universal hatches open. See what you can do. I'll try to find a way to contact the rest of the crew. What would you like me to do, Emma? Get to the EFR. I think it's in EAS-1, but it might be locked down.
now it's a good time to stop right now. Yep, yep, too late at night for this, nope. Yep, I'm going to, uh, um, can I save? No, I cannot save. I'm gonna think I'm gonna stop here, yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe pick this up during the day with other people around? Yeah, I know, I admit it, I'm a scaredy cat. That's okay. That's okay with me. Oh. Hey, okay with me to be a scaredy cat, so. I'm a scaredy cat. I'm going to, uh, pause and wait till later. So, have a good night, or good day, or good afternoon, or just have... Have a good rest of the day, rest of the night. Alright, bye.